Okay, this is the first math type lesson, and this is something you only really have to do once, um, but you might want to save this file so that if you switch to a new computer or um, start with a new laptop or something, you can do this again. Um, and so once you have math type installed on your computer, you might not automatically see a button up here for inserting an equation. So our first goal is to create a mouse button for math type equations, and so we're going to do that by going to View, Toolbars, and in that View Toolbars, you should see Math Type as an option. And when we click on that, what you're going to see here is a nice little toolbar appear for entering an equation. And so, if we want to enter an equation in the middle of some text here, you could just click this button, and it would open up your equation to begin um, typing. And so that's you know nice and um, fairly convenient, but there is a better way to do this. I'm just going to delete this one here. Um, a faster way, and that's creating a hotkey for quickly opening and closing an equation. And I like to personally use Control E because I don't use that for anything else. And E to me stands for equation. So to do this on your computer, we have to create actually two hotkeys: one to open the equation, and one to close the equation once it's open. Um, and so once you have that installed on your computer, it's very quick to open and close equations and you never have to reach for your mouse. Um, so to do this, we go up to View, Toolbars, again the same way, except now we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says Customize. And once you're in Customize, there's a place here to customize the keyboard, which is what we want to do. And then we want to choose a macro, because there's already a macro on your computer for inserting an equation. And so then we go to where it says insert inline equation, which was put on your computer when um, when math type installed itself. And it's it has a default hotkey right now, which is Alt Control Q, but that's really not very convenient and it's hard to remember. So if you go to where it says press new shortcut key and just type Control E, which is the one that you'd like to have, make sure you click assign so it puts it there. I'm going to actually remove this Alt Control Q. So I just highlight it and then click Remove. And so now it's telling me that this macro for inserting an inline equation is going to be assigned to Control E. So we're done with that and we're going to hit Close. Close. And so now when I'm here, instead of having to go up to the mouse menu here, I should just be able to type Control E. And look, there's my equation and I can put in my stuff. But now I need another Control E to close this. Okay. So what I want you to do is in that document, actually go ahead and use Control E to open a new equation because you have to have one open to create the second hotkey. And then up in preferences, um, you have a preference to customize your keyboard. And so if you go to customize your keyboard, um, you want to go and find the, um, the place where you close a equation which I think let's see this might take me a second um, maybe is in menu commands file I want to choose close and return to right now that's um, alt F4 again not a very convenient key and I'm going to enter the control the new shortcut key which is control E you can see I actually already have it here on my computer but if you could just go to this window and type control E um, it'll show you that it's assigning it there again click on assign mine's already there so I'm just going to delete this here you won't see it anymore um, I could again go to this alt F4 and just say I'm going to remove that that's not very convenient to have so control E is now the default key for that and so now when I'm in this equation I should be able to type control E and look, it just closes and goes right back to the document. So now within text, I can type Control E and open an equation, and can type Control E and shut that equation. So I never have to go to this mouse button to open and close an equation now, which is really convenient, and that should automatically be set now. When I close this document, do I want to save changes? No, but it will save those changes on the document template, it's called. And so now in any new document, or actually any old document should work too, you should be able to type control E, get into an equation, type a bunch of stuff, can type control E and get out of the equation. So that's just a really helpful, quick way to get in and out of equations without having to pick up your mouse every time. And that's the end of this lesson.